hey everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another get ready with me i'm super excited to do this get ready with me i feel like my makeup came out really really nice i'm still giving my warm neutral vibes that i like to give but um i'm talking trash in this one because it's my 20th class reunion and we're having a sneaker ball and if you know me and if you've been watching me for quite some time i'm a super girly girl like a diva type of vibe and gym shoes and dresses that ain't for me i leave that for the younger crowd that's just not my vibe but i figured out something like a suit vibe more so than a dress uh still don't think it look right but hey we're gonna, we gonna roll with it and um yes so i hope you guys enjoy this video so just stay tuned and watch me get ready you know bye you used to be too solid till you scramble me you used to be your body you meant to handle me you used to be not violent till you ambush me now i'm at your violent with you now i'm at your solid treat you that means no permission no permission there again hey y'all welcome to the channel so I know I already did an intro for this video, so we're just gonna get started because I don't wanna take all day talking. So I'm just gonna start out with my makeup because I'm curling my hair. And when I curl my hair, I always start out with my makeup. But if I'm molding my hair, I always start out with molding my hair first. So it just depends on what I'm doing. So I just had to put a little primer on. So I got a whole situation going on right here, but whatever. So we're just going to get uh, started with my makeup. I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I think I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because I always do my eyebrows. Or, I mean, if you've been here for some time, then you, you should know how my eyebrows, how I do my eyebrows. I like them fluffy. And then I just carve them out. And then I just do them. I'm going to use the Dior Concealer. It's so a full get ready with me. I'm going to show you guys my outfit as well. So stay with it, okay? This is my 20th class reunion. I'm super excited to go. Um, yes, such a huge milestone. 20 years I've been out of high school. And I feel super blessed and grateful that I'm able to go. So let me do my eyebrows and then I'll come back on camera. All right, so my eyebrows are done. So I've been using this Sephora palette. Um, it's the Destinations. It's really pretty, like neutral colors and stuff. So I've really just been using the browns in the palette right here. But um, I'm still gonna use the browns in the palette. But I think I'm gonna give me, do a little neutral, a little lighter on the lid. I don't know, I don't know. I like plain. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna prime my eyes with just some concealer this is the Dior concealer I absolutely love it and I love the Dior foundation but I'm not going to use the Dior foundation today I'm going to use my NARS so I'm just gonna pat this down and I'm gonna keep my eyes like down so I can leave it smooth so it don't crease and then I'm just gonna start packing the color on now, I am really in my neutral girl era. I don't do like colors and stuff. So I'm gonna try to get myself just a little bit more of something, but not too much. Not too much. I was gonna do like a smoky eye, but I just don't feel like it. Smoky eye would've been cute though. So I am doing a red lip. Um, I have the Fenty red lip and I also have my Dior Rouge red lipstick. So um, I don't know which one I'm going to do just yet, but I don't know. I'll figure it out in a second. So on my lid, I'm going to take the lighter color on this palette and I'm just going to pack it on the lid. It's like really, it's staying in the neutral family basically. Just like in the center of my lid. I'm not going in the crease because I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to take like uh, the brown right here that's on the palette. And I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to put this color in my crease. Just right around that area. I'm going to zoom in so y'all can see how it looks.
Look at that guy and that guy. Ooh, child. He looks so, um, right there in your face. So I'm just chiseling around here. get y'all back up all right so I definitely am done with the eyes I'm not doing a whole lot so I'm gonna prime my face even though I did our like my skincare and stuff but now I'm gonna use this elf primer it's the rose one so it can like help my foundation stick all night and I'm not gonna just like rub it in like lotion I'm just gonna like press it in with my hand Foundation is the NARS. I'm gonna use the NARS. And I really love this. It looks really good. your concealer again and I'm going to use that under my eyes when I'm going to events I do contour my whole face so everywhere you know you normally contour that's what I do And it's help give your face some type of dimension because when you got on foundation it just make you flat all the way around and I'm gonna use a beauty blender to um, blend it out well I'm gonna let it sit and dry down for a second Ooh. so I took a, a sponge and I blended everything out now I'm gonna use this elf concealer just a little bit of it because it's a little lighter than that one and I'm going to use that just right here. Just to brighten up under my eyes just a little bit more. And it's going to give me more of a fuller coverage under my eyes that can last all night. I'm going to put it over this little dark mark too just so it can be further concealed because that look like a small family to grow on my face whatever but i'm gonna let this dry down a little bit and then i'm going to lightly tap that in and i'm going to set so the first thing i'm going to set with is the uh, maybelline fit me and the reason why is because this is a little lighter than my chanel loose powder that i have so um i like to put a little bit of this because it gives me that brightness but it can be a little bit too much so then i take the chanel and i like tone it down with that and then once everything like sets together it looks really really good together i do that all the time so i really like that combination i know that's like high end low end but 
I had to use that one because that's all I have. Or I have the um, one size uh, translucent. This one sometimes get a little flaky and it like packs, it's weird on my uh, face. So I don't want to use that because I don't got time to be messing up my makeup tonight. So, cause this is one and done. I ain't got time to be starting over. Blend that out. It just gives it that, and I haven't contoured yet. So it may look a little weird, but I haven't contoured um, yet. But when you let it sit for a second, it give off a fuller coverage. And right now I need full coverage because this is a whole like event, you know, like you're going to be taking a lot of pictures and stuff like that. So I like to do my makeup a little different when I'm taking pictures. So. What I do is to blend out the edges of my found, my concealer. I take my foundation brush. I'm not putting nothing else on it. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of this concealer before I set it. Like that. To me, it looks so good and smooth. And everything looks well blended before I even start putting on any powders. I don't cream contour, but if I had a cream contour stick, I don't buy them anymore. I'm thinking about buying those because I think I want to start back doing it just a little bit, especially when I'm doing makeup like this. Um, so I don't have cream contour, so I won't be like cream contour, but I am going to bronze contour. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I cannot wait to show y'all the start of our, oh my God. It's the blush. The bl I have the Dior blush. This is in Cherry. It is beautiful. I tried it on in the store and I really was going to get the YSL um, foundation, but I ended up getting this. This is so pretty. I think it looks, it's just going to look so good on my skin. Mm. I tried it on anyways, but now I'm about to set my makeup. So taking that Fit Me. You gotta blow off that excess stuff and just really well let me make sure I ain't no creasing so if you got a little creasing you gotta like blend it out and then you can set the eyes giving off ghostly vibes but I don't want no flashback or anything like that so I'm going to take my sponge and now I'm going into my Chanel setting powder which is my skin color and I'm just going to sit that right on top of it and what that does is it blends it out and it don't give me no flashback You just can't go real heavy with the um, Maybelline because you don't want to look cakey either. And I'm going to say everywhere else with the um, Chanel. Okay, so I'm going to bronze with my favorite Juvia's Place uh, bronzer. This is in Deep Dark. I love these two colors. I'm just going to use an angle brush and I'm going to bronze. I'm going to pick up a lot of the darker one, but I'm mixing it with the lighter one so it's not too like a... Um, cool ashy look because I like to look warm um, and then I'm going to bronze all right so I went ahead and bronze and did all of that good jazz um I put a little bit of mascara got my lashes together because I'm gonna put my lashes on or whatever um what else am I about to do I'm about to start my hair I plugged up my flat irons and everything so I'm about to prep my hair I'm gonna curl it so I'm just gonna put some curls all over and just kind of like flatten it down so it can be like that flat look to your head I got some serum um, I do like to put serum on it so it's not like frizzy so this is the frizz booster serum so eliminates dry, frizzy, damaged hair, straight and smooths, moisturize and shines, alcohol free. So I use this on Lauren hair. Um, 
So I wanted to curl my hair this time because it's just more of a a formal vibe and I just didn't want to wear my hair flat and molded even though that's my go-to girl but yeah so let me get started with this I got my flat irons that I think I'm going to have to buy some skinnier ones um to start curling my hair with but we're about to get into the hair um I'm going to pop my lashes on when it's time when they dry down real good put them on so I haven't put no mascara down at the bottom or anything I was thinking about putting a little bit of silver somewhere but I don't know about that because I like a warm face no matter what I'm wearing I like my face to be warm from the eyeshadows you know that warm tone so I don't know but let me get into the hair okay mm -hmm. let me curl my hair um, before like I did uh, for Mother's Day now this is I still got dye in it obviously duh from my birthday you know when I dye my hair I just I go through like okay I dyed and then I just be like alright I ain't about to dye it again and then I let it grow out and then I cut it then I dyed then I cut it I'm always doing just something crazy um so I'm just gonna be picking up pieces the back I kind of go in a row and pick those up and when I get to the front I try not to disrupt this wave part too much and then I just curl it. I did um, have to perm it. And um, that's another reason why I didn't dye it again. Is because I knew my reunion was coming up. And I knew I was going to want to curl my hair. And in order for me to curl my hair and my curls last. This is. It's the. Now what's going on? My mama would wash clothes while I'm trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? So if you hear something. It's the washing machine and dryer doing weird stuff so i had put i had put on my instagram y'all ask me some questions right and i was going to answer them in a youtube video and uh one question i got was how to keep a man girl <laughs> that was the funniest one that i got um so if y'all have some questions, please leave them down below and I will answer them in my question Q&A, get to know me. I did them before, but I did them live on YouTube. So I was thinking about doing that again. I always do them live and then I be eating, vibing, and I go live here on YouTube. So I'm thinking about doing that again since my kid going to be she gonna be gone so i might just be vibing one day and i might just want to do that so um if y'all have any questions that y'all want to answer me answer me ask me y'all want me to answer please leave them down below and i will definitely answer them no matter what they are i've gotten crazy questions over the years um i've gotten questions about questions about love sex marriage friendship food family all kind of stuff so feel free to ask whatever you want to ask and i can answer nothing too crazy but whatever it is i'll answer hey daddy i told you you're gonna look slow i told you you was gonna look slow you said what Wear them, cause you got a, I Listen, I told you that you was gonna look real. Gonna wear these. See how they look with them on. I said you was gonna look crazy. I said that everybody look. I told you everybody look like they shoes got stolen at the party. I'm putting my Alexandries on. You can't do it. I don't know. I can't. I ain't gonna be able to walk in these. <laughs> what? Let me see. Oh. What about them? What are them black ones? Are they, what are those? Yeah. yeah. What are them? Versace? What are them? Yeah, Versace. Versace? Yeah. Listen, I told you you was going to look slow. I said, they going to look dumb and stupid and crazy like me. I, listen, welcome to the party. I ain't never been so confused about buying something to wear and what to wear. Should I wear these? Which one? Try them on. No. Because you ain't going to wear no one. These is it. 
Listen, I told you you was going to look slow. <laughs> Where your suit jacket at? On the bed. You tried that on with that? No. <laughs> I look like enough of a clown. <laughs> Okay, somehow my flat irons got unplugged, but I just wanted to come back and so I, while they warming up or whatever, I went ahead and put my lashes on. I put some mascara at the bottom. And then I used the Juvia's Place palette, the Warrior palette. And then I used this color right here because it was giving me grayish vibes, but now that I put it on, it looked more of a bluish vibe. Listen. I don't know. This is all Fifty Shades of Crazy. Like me and my husband. Like he came. That's when y'all see. He came down. He's so confused. He like this is. He said he looked like he um went to a funeral and his feet got hurt. And, was hurting in the dress shoes and he took the dress shoes off. So listen, I don't know what's going on. We this uh, hmm, 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 this is this is interesting. A sneaker ball is just like. I understand, you know, it's all about having fun. Hence why we're going to go go ahead and go along with this whole um, charades. But, you know, it's just I'm full grown. I, me, sneaker and dress. Like, I tried to do the formal dress with the gym shoes. It, if you watched my previous vlog, I told you that is nothing in my brain was crossing over and making it make sense in my head. It just... I, I just couldn't do it. I don't know. So I was like, well, I, maybe I'm going to have to give more of a suit vibe like to this because I I can't do it, y'all. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. And then they said wear the tutu. I can't wear no tutu because that's like kiddish to me. Like I, I leave that to that younger crowd. That ain't, that ain't for me. That's not, that's not for me. I can't do it. And I said, now I'm going to buy a tutu and then what am I going to do with tutu? What am I going to do with it when I'm done? That ain't for me. That's not my ministry. I can't do it. So this outfit that you see or that you about to see, going to see, when you see it, that's the, listen, that's the best I could do. That's the best I could do. I'm just really there to have a good time and, you know, enjoy the, the festivities um, and go along with this theme. And that's the best I could do. I ain't nothing out of, I can't I can't do nothing else for the people. I can't do nothing else for people. I put some oil on my legs and I'm just that's it. I can't I don't know. So I curled it and now what I typically do is I just run my fingers and let the curls just fall into place. Cause it's it's gonna be flat down. See how I don't disrupt the front really? And you just pick up the curls and then I just kind of flatten it. And mold it to my head. I got some edge control so I can lay down my size, whatever size is not laid down, and whatever in the back is not laid down and not blended. But that's basically all I'm doing to my hair, y'all. I just, it's the least I could do is beat the hell out of my face to do my makeup and stuff and like make sure my accessories, everything is on point because that's about the only thing that's going to look halfway decent to me. Okay. So. I'm going to spray this Sebastian Sharpener is dry brushable styling hairspray with control. I don't know. It looks like this. It looks like this. Um, so I'm about to spray this. I need a little hairspray to hold everything in place. Go ahead. And I like to just hold certain parts down because I don't want it to look bulky while I put my clothes stuff on but I still got to do my lipstick and my blush I'm gonna show you guys in one second so I like to just hold it down so it can give me that you know that shape not like a big shape you know like it just give me like that clean sleek look so boom that's how that's gonna look all right so for my lips I think I'm going to wear my Dior um Rouge, this is number 999. This is their classic red, and it's so pretty and velvety. Or I can wear my uh Fenty, it just depends. I don't know. I'm gonna put this one on, then I might put Fenty on top. I think I feel like the Fenty 
is a little bit more brighter and I want like a really bright red look. Let's see. So this is the finish situation. I'm going to put on my blush and like I said, I'm wearing a Dior blush. It is so pretty to me. It's giving off like coral orange vibes. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna put this on. It's very pigmented. It looks really good on, especially on chocolate skin. I just think it looks really good. It's my thought process. Do a little bit on the nose. So my fragrance of the night is the Libre YSL. Um, I really like this. It smells very like rich. Like you're giving like rich auntie vibes. But then I'm also gonna pair it with uh, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry because to me, wait a minute, it's a little bit sweet. So it's giving like sweet, rich, fancy vibes. Given the fact that this is a whole sneaker ball dress cat, listen, I don't know what none of this is. All of it look crazy to me, okay? So, um, I did get dressed and get do a get ready with me on TikTok. So, if you're not following me on TikTok, you definitely got to go follow me over here on TikTok because I'm just 50 shades of crazy with this whole little situation that I got going on. It looks real crazy to me, but I'm gonna go with the vibe, I'm gonna go with the theme, and we about to go, okay. Nate, Nate, you ready? You look slow. Where Nate at? He looks slow and dumb and stupid and crazy like me. Okay, cool. We all looking like somebody stole the shoes at the party and we had to put the gym shoes on at the party. That's that's what we all giving. Stolen gym shoes. Stolen shoes vibes. And then we wearing this. I, listen, I don't know. I'm on out of this thing. Some people might not agree, but I was giving suit vibes. So I was going to, you know, I did some gym shoot like this with a suit. You could either, you know, up, you know, button it, give like a, 